Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel for videos every Wednesday, sometimes Friday and always Sunday. Today it's Friday morning, nice cool morning and we are milking cows this morning and I'm going to show you the calves and how I feed the calves and just see what's stuck with that. Six cows calf so I'm going to show you how I feed the calves and all that and I'm going to go through all that. So I, I'm going to crack on now and get the milk from started and go from there. <coughs> This cow here, now obviously every cow has been stripped once and they'll be clean now, but this cow has a touch mastitis, 558. And she just two cross there. Um, she got kind of a bad infection to be honest. Um, getting better though, slowly. Um, look, it's one of those things, these, these things happen like, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. We don't have a lot of mastitis on this farm really, but you get the odd cow that, that kid sometimes. Now, I'm going to go in, I think, with antibiotics tubes this time because it's too early in the year and I don't want to risk it getting I don't want to risk um, getting more slides you know I don't want to waste my boluses you know on no on an old cow so I'll give her a tube after milking now I better just get off the jet and start milking Second round. Oh. Obviously, any cow that was dry off has dry cow tubes there and milk patrol. So they have to be sprayed green once the draw is up. Just so Tom knows that they're finished micro draw. <laughs> Basically, you know. Now that was four barn, the four house cat. Um, about oh, five days ago, so I keep them off five days. That cow in the end, seven months, seven. I'm gonna keep her off another day. And tomorrow, she was born early the morning before, the morning after. So I'm gonna keep her off for next day. Obviously, then my stylist cow, she's spread red to keep her out of the tank. Then everything else is spread green. So there, she has to go into the tank. 
Simple. No, I mean, this tube is called it's a Terexine tube, um, five day withdrawal, things at 96 hours, something like that. Used on that cow, it's a bad enough infection, and I don't want to waste my non withdrawal tubes. The cow's old, she might be staying that long ago, and I want to try and get rid of it. If it does get rid of it, it's there for go. But it should, I think, this should get rid of it now. Do you know, mom went to a bit of a pain, but no, it's still early in the year, so might as well get rid of the problem early, and then it's all the way then for the year. Do you know, as I mentioned before, my dry cut tubes, they have a withdrawal of 54 days plus 96 hours. So you want to keep it off for 96 hours, you know. That's, normally it's four days, that's four days, but I, I have the extra day just to fully clear the night, you know. It's not gonna make, it's not gonna piece it in the cow light, you know. So, just tube into this cow now. Right now I'm just sitting finished with the calves because normally I'd be milk replacer but I'm not being that until Monday because I have the milk and all these cows will be ground into the tank Monday on. So I, I'm just going to give them straight milk until Monday and then we'll go on milk replacer. I love milk replacer because number one, it's handy, you can eat the calves any time of the day. Now I don't, don't have it in the morning and evening, same as every other time. but. Um, you can, you have that option, and it's cheaper because you can put more milk in the tank. And I don't know, I think the calves tried just as well on it, to be honest. Um, they tried just as well on it, so you know, I've used it the past five years, can't fault it at all, you know, so much better. So, but can't beat raw milk either, the calves, you know, it's great as well, you know. So, calves, obviously now I'm, I'm making 13 cows because I know my 6 cows left, but um, I have them 7 cows late calves from last year, so I'm making them as well, you know. Next year, I'll be any of them, it's the freshly calf cows, you know, we're trying to have all spring calving. Like I said in loads of videos before, instead of bits of everything, bits of autumn, bits of Spring, so we all spring calving for next year. This year is all spring calving, but we all have more carryover cows. Thank God. Thank God. So, one cow on it milking. Had two. Keep cracking on until all this mastitis milk as well. So, I don't, I now just dump this milk straight into the cow's tank, you know, in, into the story tank. You know, let's just get the dump the better, but. It's how it goes, you know, cows get infections and you gotta treat them like, you know. But, to be honest, I don't think much my status, so I wouldn't be too worried about it, to be honest, so. Not too worried, you know, it's going away slowly, so. Can't really fault that. This isn't the perfect solution, but there's six calves in this pin. There's only five in this pin because um, not enough calves at the moment, so I don't want to have them there on his own. So I can move one of them in whenever I have my first calves, which, which won't be long because the five feeder goes there. I just hold the single feeder for this guy. He's quick at drinking anyway. Every calf is two liters of milk, but they always get two liters morning and two liters in the evening. Four liters a day. 
like it's adequate enough for them. They seem to do well on that and they get some meal as well, ration, whatever you want to call it. It's called cake over in England, I think so. Whatever you want to call it. And that there's some straw on the feet there as well, in the hay rack there as well. So that kind of roughage keeps them going as well. Do you know? Basically my philosophy with the calves is get the beasts in within the first two hours. They get the best start in life then. That's what I always think and say myself. And you give them the best start, give some chance with them being healthy for the whole year, like you know, and normally it works out, you know. They're all once they're all drinking and fighting for their milk, I'm happy. You know, nothing worse than them hanging back because that's pure some sign that they're sick then or something around them, like you know. Obviously, same as human, same way. So, um, two heifers here at the moment. There's, there's one poly heifer. There's, there's two Frisian heifers, one poly heifer, and all Angus heifer, Angus heifer, and all the rest. Then are Frisian bulls, and they all go to beef, and all, all the heifers then be used for replacements. The Frisian heifers, you know, they're all good AI bulls. I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. All healthy, all happy. I should tag them after this. What I do to normally to know which one is which I put one tag on their ear the non tag the tag that doesn't need a sample of tissue for the BVD sample it's just that you know which cat is which because god even after the six of them were in there I was trying to struggle which mother which cow or which you know it's all the same so I put one tag on at least then the first thing one tag on you know then which cat is which like you know and it makes life so much easier you know, especially when it gets a bit more full like in a bit of a burst so you know what's what that's what i always do that's my thing so they hardly finish drinking now they're getting see not far from finished you know they're, they're fierce quick so i'm gonna get these washed up and then i'm gonna tag i'm gonna tag them as well and i'll show you what i do with the bbd samples you know i'm tagged for monday so samples can be sent off to the lab and tested for bbd you don't want to have to have bbd already if you finish that's, that's gonna be a fight you know so I better stop talking and get feeding all the calves tagged now I have to register them to farm ops once the bow ends up you know check out I'll leave the link for my monster bovine app to tutorial video makes it very easy to register the calves Guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was just me milking the cows, feeding the calves, tagging the calves, and just showing you the simpler jobs that have to be done on Sunday morning. Yes, this video is Sunday morning and is being uploaded this evening. Um, not sure on the time yet, so probably the afternoon, more than likely. But I get home, I to edit it out. I just had time all week with everything that was going on. I normally have a video made and it'd be up about 12 o'clock on a Sunday, but so much going on this week, the new, the new build and other jobs that just didn't get done. Anyway, look, like I said on Instagram, I will do a shed tour video where it's all done, completely done. And that's what I want to do. You know, it would be nice to film while it's being done, but I'd rather just do full tour when it's done. And then hopefully next build then I do, we can show you as it's been done. For now, this is what I'm doing. Again, I'm seeing my cows, checking them out. I think there's a few nice food to calf now, so February will be fairly busy around here, you know, and yeah, I'll be grand. Guys, thanks so much for um, watching the video. Give it a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you ring the bell, you'll get notifications of my videos every Wednesday, sometimes Friday, and always on Sunday. 
and give me a follow on Instagram and a follow on TikTok. Really appreciate everything that you're doing for me, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.